nigga. Yo, 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 what's the deal? Yeah. What's the deal, man? We got my guy Shotty Cash live right here at the sit down, man. Appreciate you have coming through. You had a good ass year this year, bro. Hella run, man. You know, dropping tape after tape, music video after music video, bro. Personally, my uh favorite is that top side freestyle, bro. I put a lot of niggas on to that shit. I play that shit everywhere I go. That shit a banger for sure, my dude. But uh before we get into music and everything, let's just talk about a little bit of your uh background and shit, bro. So uh what part of the city you from? Hey man, got A, man. Hey man. Six mile down, I feel it, I feel it. West side or east side? East. East, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, bro, you know, for me from the west side, you know, we already know about our history and everything, so just tell me a little bit about East Six Mile and everything, bro. Man, Growing been, up and everything. I feel like every other hood, bro. We got good kids, bad kids, drug dealing. Typical shit, we was just little niggas, we ain't know what was going on around that time. Bitches, so, small bitches, <laughs> bad bitches, skinny bitches. Why, you feel me, bro? Six miles like every other hood in the ghetto, bro. We got every, all the same shit, just different ways. Yeah, man, no doubt, no doubt, bro. Definitely, like, I feel like Six Mile yeah, got, like, the up, best, Walmart? like, rappers like, from Detroit right now, or every rap up, definitely got, like, the best rappers and everything. So, what was, like, the music life between you, like, for you, like, growing up or anything? Like, was it a music, like, in the household, or? My daddy rap. Oh, he rap? Okay, okay, okay. I was just around that shit my whole life type shit. But it was like, rap was always a side note to me because I wanted to play football. Mm. Uh, what position you played? Running back. And pal, I played running back. I played nose guard too. Lou mm. was here like that. Nose guard? What the fuck? On my mama. <laughs> Man, was you short or really short back then or I something? Was little as hell. Yeah, that's that's probably why they say you small, get through the legs, boom. I always love D tackle like or the defensive line period. I always fuck with it because it's like you ain't gotta do too much, bro. It's a simple goal: get past niggas, hit niggas. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So how long you was playing football though? Like throughout, like growing up and stuff. I like the time span. Been in my whole life, nigga, from seven to eighteen when I dropped out of college. Mm. Oh, you you played in college too? A little bit. What college you went to? Oh, okay, okay, okay. EMU. Hey, hey, that's a good school to definitely try out for football if you're staying at home. Because it's like it's nearby. Got like good culture staff, athletics, and everything, bro. So, you know, what made you put the football with uh, life away? Just say, you know, I'm going to get back to this music and stuff like that. When I went to college, bro, that shit was like, it was like big time type shit. It was like some little side JV shit down there type shit. Like you do good on that bitch, you get looked at it from the big school. It was like, it was more so about college, bro. Like, yeah. was, like, I ain't like the college lifestyle. That shit was, like, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was fucked up with that bitch. I don't like that shit. Nigga, I had to shoot dice to eat type shit. Like, a nigga been fucked up, but it's like, you no know, grown man wanna, you know? Yeah. You can't do shit at college. I had to come home and get it most and shit. Yeah. So when you was young around and stuff, like was your dad like basically taking you everywhere with him, taking the studios and shit like that? My daddy always had me around that shit when I was a little nigga and I adapted to it myself. My daddy ain't really forced that shit on me or nothing. Mm. Like, like I said, football really took most of my dreams for real, for real. So I wasn't really focused on rapping until I got older. Like, mm -hmm. I started taking rap a little bit more serious when I was like 15, 16. I was dropping little songs. They was gaining that little traction and shit. Yeah. Well, I ain't start taking rap serious for real for it to like 2020, bro. Like, when my daddy died, that shit, you feel me? Mm. It made me go harder with that shit. But even before he died, it was like, I had to make my mind up on what the fuck I was finna do. I ain't doing shit but getting older. So it was like, I just had to make that decision. Yeah, no doubt. All the rap. And that street shit ain't gonna never last forever. No doubt, man. Yeah, sorry to hear about the passing of your father and everything, man. Sorry, you know? Yeah, man, definitely, you know, when you in college at 18, that's definitely, like, the point where you got to decide what you want to do in life because it's like you either going to be stuck in school in the next four years pursuing a career or you're going to get out and make your career and do something now. And that's the whole thing. And then, and then again, bro, it's like, what the fuck am I really going to school for? Like, I, my dream was never to work for another nigga. Exactly. You know? Like, I, keep it I only really did that shit because of football in my day. Like, Football shit, hopefully I can get a chance to do what I need to do. Okay. And then with my daddy, he always wanted me to at least try college. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Or what I wanted to do, 
I ain't fuck about school, bro. Keep me the brick. You still happy about the decision you made, though? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All the game I got from this shit, bro. I couldn't, you feel me? I couldn't imagine all. I couldn't imagine how my life would have been if I would have stayed in school, bro. Because I had to go through the street, go through all the trials and tribulations to be become the nigga that I am. Yeah, man. You know? yeah, no doubt, no doubt, bro. So in the past like two, three years, bro, like like I said, you've been dropping crazy, bro. Like counted up ten albums, bro. Ten albums of mixtape, whatever you want to call it, but that's ten tapes in the past three years, bro. Most artists only drop once or twice a year, type of thing, bro. So what was like the really the country uh, like what really led you just to go crazy just dropping 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 like that see like i said i just had to uh, i just had to make my mind up on what i wanted to do so if i'm gonna go hard at this shit i'm gonna go hard at this shit and then furthermore i was already you feel me everybody kept telling me like bro if you just stay consistent you would take shit over, man. Like, fuck it, why not try? And they went Jeff until me. As soon as I did, that's when I started turning up. Yeah, yeah, man. So, like, what's your strategy for, like, to prep yourself for music? I mean, you got to get ready for the studio, or is it, what's your, like, type of strategy, or how you get ready to do a song? Live some shit, go talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Jeff. laughs> Hey, that's a caption right there, bro. Like, so, like, good ass quote. Live it and rap about it. <laughs> like I said, throughout the past years, you got like a couple features for, you know, a lot of good names around the city. You got a Lowe's feature, Nutty feature, also got a Babyface Ray feature. You know, you know, they, and a couple people from the White House studio, man. How did uh, that, that actually came about? Shit, just fuck with me. Like, I fuck with they movement, you feel me? When I was coming up in this music, shit, like I wasn't really at the stature that I was at. I guess the nigga seen my grind, respect the high play, my shit. It's like on some grown men shit, them niggas respect me as a young nigga coming up. Shit, all the love, them niggas show. Yeah, man, cause like, you know, definitely like, you know, for like someone like around your age and your uh, generation, bro, it's like, I know it's definitely hard to get those type of features and get that type of recognition and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? But what can you, how can you describe like your style of music and everything like that? Reality rap. <laughs> Reality rap. That's all I'm doing, bro. I'm not jeffing in this shit. I'm just telling you how it is, nigga. Whether it's good, bad, happy, or sad. Yeah, man. You got that real good player vibes and everything, bro. Like, for shit, show. Sure. Like, I fuck with it. Like, you know, have you heard a term like some people might think of your shit like, uh, from uh, Bill, Be Bill Bellamy, How to Be a Player, his type of character in music type shit? It's funny, because I damn never be thinking that shit myself. Like, bro. trying to go for no player image and other shit, but I'm just talking about my life, like I said. Like, <laughs> I talk about the shit that I do, bro. Yeah. Like, my life really been crazy as hell, man. Any of them niggas can vouch for me, bro. Like, all I do is just live some shit and put it on the phone. Mm. Yeah, man. So, what's like, you could say, probably one of your biggest sacrifices you had to make so far, like, doing your rap career? Brain for real, for real, on some shit like this shit stressful. And then this rap, like world, that shit weird, bro. I don't like this shit. I don't fit it. It's like I gotta coexist around that shit, you know? Yeah. But I, I look at it as a challenge because this shit be sucking niggas in, and I'm I'm proud that I ain't let this shit take control of me. You feel me? Like fuck up my head, let me turn into one of these niggas. Mm -hmm. I'm just blessed. You feel me? That. I ain't let this shit suck me in. Is it like uh, easy to get like a uh, shoddy cast feature? Yeah, how to pay. So you does. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, cause you know like, basically like I was talking to one of my other guys in another venue, like, you know, the east side community is like, the rap community is way tighter than the west side. Like, you know, east side, I feel like, you know, as long as they like, kind of know you, they, they'll even listen to your music, they give you a chance and shit. West side niggas, it's like we more bougie, it's like, it, but it's more politics too, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas gotta see what you, what's going on, who know who, and but shit I mean, like that. that's on the east side too though, you don't think it's politics around this bitch, bro? You see all this foes and fire shit going on, bro, you gotta, same shit, it's like,
like how you all got your little beefs on the west side. We got our shit going on over here. It's politics with everything. But I do agree though on some shit like an east side rapper, they definitely give a young nigga an ear as opposed to a west side rapper. They be more a little uptight. But I mean, that damn near represent how the city is though. Yeah, yeah, you know for sure. Cause like, uh, you know, I shot with a lot of uh, people on the east side, and one place, uh, a studio, a lot of people were shooting at like two, three years ago. Was my man's Road Runner Costa uh, basement and shit. Like he recorded like artists small and big. I know Viz recorded like three tapes there, type of shit. My cousin uh, recorded with them in speed. Yep, 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 yep. yep. And yep. Big Worm. Yep, yep, yep. That's my nigga too. Shout out to Worm. But yeah, bro, it was just like everybody was down there. I remember just one night, bro, it was like 30 niggas down there waiting to just getting their time in the studio, chilling, all types of shit. And it's like, damn, bro, you know, I ain't never seen no shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? The West Side, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't even see that shit happen on the West Side. But just to see that shit in the East Side, the way how y'all moving and trying to keep everything unified is just good, though, for real, though. Definitely a big part of help for the city type shit.